Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about Jeffree Star recently being removed from the Kylie Cosmetics PR list. I have to say that it's been a long time coming and quite frankly I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. The reason I say that is because these two have a long-standing history of drama due to Jeffree having no qualms about speaking up when he doesn't like her products or whenever he feels she has taken advantage of her customers. For those who have been following the Jeffree Star vs. Kylie Cosmetics drama from the very beginning, you'll remember back in April 2016 when Kylie released lip glosses where thousands of units were sold with defective wands. Many people tagged Kylie on Twitter to let her know about their defective wands and to inform her that they reached out to Kylie's customer service and that they refused to help them. Kylie continued ignoring her customers until Jeffree Star went onto his Snapchat to rant about the wands and about how she and her customer service team were handling all of this. He also received defective wands and ended his rant by throwing the lip glosses in the trash. Okay, you guys know I love Kylie, but look at this wand. This is a- this is Kylie Jenner's makeup brand and this is the quality. Hunty, no. I'm gonna try one more. This has never been used before. Oh my god. Uh, not acceptable. This is no hate whatsoever. It's just like when you're a multi-million dollar celebrity, why would you put anything out half-assed? And I've seen that she has mentioned the wand on her snap, right? It just doesn't make sense. Why are you a multi-million dollar celebrity and putting out something janky? Like, the wand should be good the first time, not the second time you make the new batch. So what that basically tells me is that they half-assed it, put out the product, and then the next run, they're gonna make improvements. Bitch, it should be perfect the first damn time so every customer gets it. So, no offense to her, but... These are fucking garbage. He then followed up that rant with these tweets. all this obviously went viral, Kylie decided to finally do something about this and agreed to replace everyone's wands. Jeffrey acknowledges on his Twitter here. You know what? I totally agree with him because it is sad that there are brands out there that won't lift a finger to help their customers until someone with a voice comes along and speaks up for them. Whether this was a carefully calculated move to draw attention to his launch or not, the fact is she didn't bother attempting to resolve it until he said something. But as we all know, the drama didn't end there. Jeffrey has since taken several jabs at Kylie since then, as well as continuing to not holding back when he doesn't like something of hers. He also spoke up about her highlighters in a review video that he did, critiquing the price point, saying that the quality should have been better as as well as giving a lackluster review to Kylie's purple collection. He had lots to say about the loose highlighter that came with it, as well as one of the lipsticks and a few of the shadows in the purple palette. Most recently, he joined the other beauty gurus and influencers when Kylie announced that she was selling a brush set for $360. Many people were completely turned off by the price point due to the fact that they looked cheap, poor quality, and came in tacky packaging. I did a whole video on this, so if you want to learn more about that drama, check out the link down below. Anyway, here's a Snapchat rant about the brushes. In other news, I have seen all of the Kylie launches coming up and all the new products. And girl, I have an opinion. So the whole makeup community is talking about the price of Kylie Cosmetics. Brand new brushes coming out. I think they launch in a few days. Um, now, I saw online that they were over $360, I'm sure, plus shipping, um, for an entire brush set and a little brush roll. And I was fucking shook. Anyone else? I'm like, girl, I could drive to the Morphe store and get a whole collection for at least 150 bucks. I can get a BH Cosmetics brush set for way cheaper. Um, but of course, it's all about the br So of course, you know I had to chime in and because it's me, I'm not allowed to say anything, I guess. But girl, fucking relax. Um, $360 for the average person for a brush set? Girl, you got the wrong one, especially when you're an e-commerce brand and not everyone can feel and touch it and like really get the real tea. Um, and I think I saw a lot of people upset that
that when she showed the brush set, they look a little mangled. Maybe they had been cleaned recently. Maybe they had been like through the fucking ringer. Maybe they used that brush cleaner that me and Laura reviewed. Girl, I don't fucking know. But um, if you're going to present that price point of a brush set, you better fucking have them looking pristine. One interesting thing to note is that when Jeffrey did his review video, he mentioned that he did not receive these as PR, which led to many, myself included, wondering if Kylie kicked them off the PR list once and for all. He also compared the packaging to the dollar store and that it took him forever to blend his foundation out with her brushes. In addition to criticizing her for her obscenely expensive brushes, he did a tweet and delete where he also accused her of copying his packaging for her new concealers. You know I've said this multiple times on my other platforms and I'll say it again here. Dose of Colors used these tubes before him so I don't understand why he had to take it there with her considering there's loads of brands using these tubes now, including his friends at Wet n Wild and Sugar Pill. It's no secret that Kylie constantly copies others but this time I didn't think she was guilty. Anyway, here's the Snapchat rant he did about that. So last but not least, I saw the Kylie Cosmetics concealers, and yes, they are in the exact same packaging as my liquid lips, um, and I think a lot of people are on the fence of how they feel. Most of you get it. I'm like, girl, I'm not throwing shade. Like, I'm not mad, girl. I'm making my money. She's making her money. But when you're that big and you've, and you've made that much fucking money, why couldn't you just use another bottle, girl? Are you, are you... That was my only question on Twitter today was, if you're going to go you know, in the news and on the press and say that... You your brand is about to be a one billion dollar company next year then use some original packaging do some custom shit girl what the fuck but um i ain't mad at it girl my liquid lips are selling like fucking crack um and i'm not mad you know i'm still gonna review it that's the thing people think i'm like angry about it i'm just asking questions girl when you're that far in the motherfucking game why not use a different packaging why don't know, but I'm still going to review the formula on my channel because I'm that boss of a bitch and I don't give a fuck. Now that you all know the backstory, let's move on to the hot tea that Jeffrey spilled on his Twitter feed the other day. He confirmed his suspicions that many of us had since December and that was the fact that he was removed from Kylie's PR list. Here are the tweets he sent out about being removed. When a brand decides to remove an influencer from their PR list due to a bad review, but on the other hand, she may have just been fed up with the constant jabs at her and her brand. And if that's why he was removed, then I can't blame her since there is a way to give a bad review without being outright insulting about it. But if she removed him due to him legitimately not liking her products, then that speaks volumes about her company and the confidence that she has in the performance of her products. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think down below, and thank you for watching.